Not too late to start a New Year's resolution or set a goal for yourself in 2024. And one growing health trend is known as dry January. 10 News anchor Shay Smith is here to explain it for us. Hey Shay. Hey Robin, so there are a lot of benefits to eliminating alcohol from your life. Now today I spoke to the curator of the social media account Sober in Knoxville about her journey and why she created the account. Dry January looks different for everyone. I had done quite a few Sober Octobers and Dry Januaries um, and my cycle continued to happen. Lindsay Elston runs the account Sober in Knoxville. It's for people who want to live their lives without alcohol. Elston decided to quit drinking after a troublesome journey with alcohol. Elston says for her, giving up alcohol has a lot of benefits. Outside of all of the health benefits, because those are going to vary from person to person, is that you're just going to learn a lot about yourself. She also says you can, of course, still have fun without drinking. It was sober where we were in our space and live music, and we had some friends that were at the, bre or the brewery next door, like jamming out to our music while they were doing their thing, and we were kind of doing our thing, and it, it felt exactly how, you know, the same feelings of socialness and fun. Elston says avoiding places with alcohol isn't always easy, but she hopes the community involved in Sober in Knoxville can be an example to people who don't want to drink even after January. You have to seek it out, and I think that that's the problem and also the solution that I want to be. I want Sober in Knoxville to be the place where people don't have to do so much work to seek out a sober safe space. It's common for friends to get together, mm -hmm. go out for a drink, but there's so many other activities people can get involved in that don't involve alcohol. There really are. So something that Lindsay suggested is taking that money that you would maybe spend on food or at a bar and putting it towards a fun activity like a painting class yeah. or a pottery class um, or even a yoga class or a new workout class. And there are also coffee and tea shops that do stay open in the evenings so you can always meet there and you will not be surrounded by alcohol. So many things to yeah. do, especially in Knoxville, yeah, for sure. Definitely. All right, Shay, thank you very thank you, much. Everyone. All right now.